ICT NCERT presents audio book introductory macroeconomics page 71 chapter 5 open economy macroeconomics module 5.1 balance of payments rationale in the current era international trade in goods and services has linked the economies of almost all countries foreign trade affects the earnings from exports and payments for imports hence the aggregate output of the country stocks of foreign exchange have an effect on the money supply and hence monetary policy it is important to know how international transactions affect domestic economy policy decisions and consumption choices key concepts balance of payments current account capital account balance of trade balance of invisibles 5.1.1 open economy an open economy is one which trades with other nations in goods and services and also in assets examples of international transactions are import of leather goods and textiles from italy purchase of mines in malaysia south korea buys a landmine and ports in india an indian citizen buying the us government bonds foreigners buying shares of indian companies etc we need to pay for what we buy in other countries we also receive foreign exchange for what we sell to other countries If an Indian buys a purse from the USA, she needs dollars and when she sells it in Japan, she will be paid in yen. Someone has to mediate and convert the rupees to dollars and yen to rupees. This is done by the specialized money changing institutions. 5.1.2 Balance of payment. Balance of payment or BOP account records the transactions of goods, services and assets between residents of a country and the rest of the world in a given year the two important components of the balance of payments are current account and capital account page 72 5.1.3 current account current account is the record of trade in goods and services and transfer payments figure 5.1 illustrates the components of current account Trade in goods includes exports and imports of goods. Trade in services includes factor income and non-factor income transactions. Transfer payments are the receipts which the residents of a country get for free without having to provide any goods or services in return. They consist of gifts, remittances and grants. They could be given by the government or by private citizens living abroad buying foreign goods is expenditure from our country and it becomes the income of that foreign country hence the purchase of foreign goods or imports decreases the domestic demand for goods and services in our country similarly selling of foreign goods or exports brings income to our country and adds to the aggregate domestic demand for goods and services in our country figure 5.1 components of current account the flow chart that we have here shows how the current account flows the label current account is trifurcated into three sub branches trade in goods trade in services and transfer payments trade in goods has two sub branches export of goods import of goods trade in services has been divided into two sub branches net factor income and net non factor income net factor income is further subdivided into two sections net income from compensation of employees net investment income net non factor income has one branch shipping banking insurance tourism software services etc finally transfer payments has one sub branch consists of gifts remittances and grants this is a birds eye view of the components of current account balance on current account 
current account is in balance when receipts on current account are equal to the payments on the current account. A surplus current account means that the nation is a lender to other countries and a deficit current account means that the nation is a borrower from other countries. We have here a table with three columns and one row. The first column represents current account surplus. That is, when receipts are greater than payments, as indicated in the first row. The second column represents balanced current account. That is, receipts are equal to payments, as indicated in the row. The current account surplus, that is, receipts are less than payments, as indicated in the row. Balance on current account has two components. Page 73. 1. Balance of trade or trade balance. 2. Balance on invisibles. Balance of trade, BOT, is the difference between the value of exports and value of imports of goods of a country in a given period of time. Export of goods is entered as a credit item in BOT, whereas import of goods is entered as a debit item in BOT. It is also known as trade balance. BOT is said to be in balance when exports of goods are equal to the imports of goods. Surplus BOT or trade surplus will arise if country exports more goods than what it imports, whereas deficit BOT or trade deficit will arise if a country imports more goods than what it exports. Balance of invisibles BOI is the difference between the value of exports and value of imports of invisibles of a country in a given period of time. Invisibles include services, transfers and flows of income that take place between different countries. Services trade includes both factor and non-factor income. Factor income includes net international earnings on factors of production like labour, land and capital. Non-factor income is net sale of service products like shipping, banking, tourism, software services, etc. 5.1.4 Capital Account Capital account records all international transactions of assets. An asset is any one of the forms in which wealth can be held. For example, money, stocks, bonds, government debt, etc. Purchase of assets is a debit item on the capital account. If an Indian buys a UK car company, it enters capital account transactions as a debit item. This means foreign exchange is flowing out of India. On the other hand, sale of assets like sale of car purchased from the UK to a Chinese customer is a credit item on the capital account. Figure 5.2 classifies the items which are a part of capital account transactions. These items are foreign direct investments or FDIs, foreign institutional investments or FIIs, external borrowings and assistance. Figure 5.2 Components of Capital Account Page 74 Here we have a flowchart. The first heading of the flowchart is Capital Account. This has been trifurcated into three parts – investments, external borrowings and external assistance. Investments has two further sub-branches – direct investment and portfolio investment. Direct investment has another sub-branch which is examples, FDI, equity capital, reinvested earnings and other direct capital flows. Portfolio investment has another sub-branch, which is examples FII, offshore funds. Now, on the right-hand side, external borrowings has another branch, external commercial borrowings, short-term debt. Finally, external assistance has a sub-branch, which is examples government aid, intergovernmental, multilateral and bilateral loans. Balance on Capital Account Capital account is in balance when capital inflows like receipt of loans from abroad, sale of assets 
or shares in foreign companies are equal to capital outflows like repayment of loans purchase of assets or shares in foreign countries surplus in capital account arises when capital inflows are greater than capital outflows whereas deficit in capital account arises when capital inflows are lesser than capital outflows 5.1.5 accounting of bop you must keep in mind the simple rule of double entry bookkeeping that is every international transaction automatically enters the balance of payments account twice once as a credit entry and once as a debit entry any transaction which leads to receipt that is receiving money from foreigners is entered in the balance of payments account as a credit entry that is it is recorded with a plus sign in a similar manner any transaction which leads to payment to foreigners enters as a debit entry that is it is recorded with a minus sign with every item we buy from a foreigner we must pay her and that money will either be spent or stored by the foreigner if she spends this money by purchasing goods and services from our country then it is likely to enter as a credit entry in our current account if she stores this money then it is likely to enter a capital account in this light let us take the example of purchase of italian leather jackets when anita buys imported jacket for example valentino jacket using a check of rupees 1 lakh it enters the indian current account with a negative sign that is as a debit entry because it is import of goods but where does that check go one option is that the company valentino buys a fixed deposit with this check in state bank of india that is sbi in this case this transaction shows up as a credit entry recorded with a plus sign of rupees 1 lakh in the indian capital account because india is selling financial assets to a foreign company another option is that the company director of valentino uses this rupees 1 lakh check to finance a trip to india in this case it enters the current account as a credit entry as it is export of services by the rules of double entry bookkeeping capital account plus current account equals 0 page 75 however in reality the government often needs to use its reserves of foreign exchange in order to balance the international receipts and payments this is reserve change in balance of payments accounts bop accounting follows the principle of double entry bookkeeping since bop should always balance so the value of debit entries and credit entries should always be equal in practice this does not balance due to non availability of data therefore another item for errors and omissions is included so as to make the overall balance equal to zero table 5.1 provides a sample of balance of payments for india table 5.1 balance of payments for india in million usd where usd denotes american dollars this table has three rows and 21 columns the first column represents the item number the second column lists the related item and the third column indicates in million dollars usd the equivalent value of the item row 1 item 1 exports of goods only 150 million usd row 2 item 2 imports of goods only 240 million usd row 3 item 3 trade balance 2 minus 1 minus 90 million usd row 4 item 4 net invisibles which is 4a plus 4b plus 4c 52 million usd row 5 item 4a non factor services 30 million usd row 6 item 4b income minus 10 million usd row 7 item 4c transfers 
32 million USD. Row 8, item number 5, current account balance, which is 3 plus 4, minus 38 million USD. Row 9, item 6, capital account balance, which is 6A plus 6B plus 6C plus 6D plus 6E plus 6F. 41,115 million USD. Row 10, item 6A, external assistance net, 0 0.15 million USD. Row 11, item 6B, external commercial borrowings net, 2 million USD. Row 12, item 6C, short term debt, 10 million USD. Rows 13 and 14, item 6D, banking capital net of which 15 million USD and non-resident deposits net 9 million USD. Row 15, item 6E, foreign investments net of which 6EA plus 6EB, 19 million USD. Row 16, item 6E, sub point A, FDI net, 13 million USD. Row 17, item 6E, B, portfolio net, 6 million USD. Row 18, item 6F, other flows net, minus 5 million USD. Row 19, item 7, errors and omissions, minus 3.15 million USD. Row 20, Item 8. Overall balance 5 plus 6 plus 7. 0 million USD. Row 21. Item 9. Reserves change 0 million USD. Given the rule of double entry bookkeeping, a surplus in current account is accompanied by a deficit in capital account and vice versa. Note in Table 5.1 there is a trade deficit and current account deficit but a capital account surplus. As a result, BOP is in balance. Page 76 In contrast to what is depicted in Table 5.1, in real life, countries face either a BOP deficit or a BOP surplus. To understand this, let us focus on a part of the balance of payments account through Table 5.2. Suppose in an economy, there are only exports and imports done and no private or commercial transactions made in capital account. However, government takes loans which further leads to capital account balance. Hence, the net effect is that the BOP is balanced. Table 5.2 BOP for India in million USD where USD denotes American dollars. Please note there are no private transactions on capital account. The following table has three columns and nine rows. The first column represents the item number, the second lists the item and the third the million dollar USD value related to the item. Row 1, item 1, exports of goods only, 150 million USD. Row 2, item 2, imports of goods only, 240 million USD. Row 3, Item 3. Trade balance, which is 2 minus 1, minus 90 million USD. Row 4. Item 4. Current account balance, 3, minus 90 million USD. Row 5. Item 5. Capital account balance, 5A, 90 million USD. Row 6. 5A. Government international loans, 90 million USD. Row 7, item 6, errors and omissions, 0 million USD. Row 8, item 7, overall balance, which is 4 plus 5 plus 6, 0 million USD. Row 9, item 8, reserves change, 0 million USD. However, consider another situation when the government does not take loan. It is depicted through table 5.3. To facilitate the current account transactions in this economy, the government draws down 
on the foreign exchange reserves which are held with RBI. This change in the reserves is used to adjust for the differences in the receipts and payments that occur in the current and capital accounts. These are called the official reserve transactions. Table 5.3 BOP for India in million USD where USD denotes American dollars. Please note this table is without government loans. The table has three columns and nine rows. The first column represents the item number. The second lists the item and the third gives the equivalent value in million USD. Row 1, item 1. Exports of goods only. 150 million USD. Row 2, item 2. Imports of goods only. 240 million USD. Row 3, item 3. Trade balance which is 2 minus 1, minus 90 million USD. Row 4, item 4, current account balance, which is 3, minus 90 million USD. Row 5, item 5, capital account balance, 5A, 0 million USD. Row 6, item 5A, government international loans, 0 million USD. Row 7, item 6, Errors and omissions, 0 million USD. Row 8, item 7, overall balance, which is 4 plus 5 plus 6, minus 90 million USD. Row 9, item 8, reserves change, that is decrease, 90 million USD. Any change in official reserves also indicates a condition of either BOP deficit or a BOP surplus. The data represented in Table 5.3 indicates that there is a BOP deficit. Page 77 The table before us now has three columns and two rows. The first column represents BOP deficit, the second balanced BOP and the third BOP surplus. The values in row 1 are when overall balance is less than zero, Overall balance equals zero in a balanced BOP and therefore BOP surplus has an overall balance which is greater than zero. Row 2 indicates that when reserve change is greater than zero then the balanced BOP leads to a reserve change which is equal to zero and the BOP surplus leads to a reserve change less than zero. It should also be noted that increase in reserves of foreign exchange increases reserves of the central bank. This increases money supply in a manner similar to open market operations. Test your understanding. 1. Classify whether the following transactions will be recorded in current account or capital account. A. Import of machinery from Japan. B. Borrowings from IMF. C. Repayment of loan by Indian government to USA. D. Shipping service by Indian company to a foreign company. E. Gifts received from a relative in Singapore. 2. Is it necessary for a country to have a balanced BOP? Also, explain how it can balance its BOP when it is having a deficit BOP. You were just listening to this chapter. Subject Coordinator Dr. Jaya Singh Production Assistant, Jagbandhu Jana Sound Recordist, Batilang Lindo and Vikas Sangwan Artists, Anandana Kapoor and Akash Ahuja Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary And presented by CIET, NCERT, New Delhi, India <laughs>